Well, in further news on the decline of Western civilization by a trillion cuts, well, here's a cut that's not so trivial. Uh, the normalization of hardcore drugs and drug use uh, for kids, apparently, now. Yeah, it's come a long way from your old grade 8 pothead art teacher. This is just hardcore, radical, far-leftism. So here's the headline, which, I mean, nothing shocking, I guess, anymore. I'll just read it to you. Children given safer snorting kits at Canadian school. So here you have this little care package to everything your high schooler needs to become a drug addict. A British Columbia high school is investigating after a guest speaker reportedly distributed, quote, safer snorting kits to minors following a presentation about harm reduction and drug prevention, according to the Vancouver Sun. Well, I don't see how the snorting kit is going to do much for drug prevention. It seems to be kind of normalizing it to high schoolers. Yeah, harm reduction, that's uh, something we've heard a lot about, we'll continue to hear about. Apparently it's a euphemism, because it doesn't seem to actually reduce harm, it seems to increase harm. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've shown this many, many times in my videos. This is illicit drug toxicity deaths and death rate per 100,000 population in Vancouver, British Columbia. And Vancouver, British Columbia started harm reduction or so-called harm reduction programs in 2005. And this is safe injection sites. This is giving away needles, that sort of thing, crack pipes, meth pipes, whatever. And a slow kind of progression of kind of de facto legalization of drug use and homelessness in Vancouver. And as you can see, 2005, you didn't see much change for uh, a few years. But then as the program started to really kick in, you just have a massive increase. And it shouldn't be surprising that when you make it easier to be a drug addict, more people become drug addicts. And what this graph actually doesn't tell you about is that it's not just about overdoses, is it? It's about the attendant crime, the homelessness, the destroyed lives and families. This is all what's being normalized by harm reduction. So as we normalize addiction, these things are also being normalized as well. And if you ever bring it up to uh, somebody who advocates for this sort of thing, they just say it needs to go further left. That's the problem. It's not far left enough now. We're looking here at an order of magnitude greater overdose deaths. And that will also include, again, all the attendant parts of that, the crime, the homelessness, the destroyed lives and families, all of that increases too. And again, the only answer that they have for this is that it, it's just not far left enough yet. Let's see, it says the safer snorting kits, which included straws and wallet sized cards for cutting powder into snortable lines. This was given away at a high school. This, you can't make it up. This is, they're trying to kill satire. This was distributed last week to students in the Cowichan Valley School District in Victoria, BC. Students also allegedly received a book entitled, Staying Safe When You're Snorting which gives tips on having safe sexual intercourse while high, sharing equipment, as well as the variety of different drugs that can be snorted, such as fentanyl, cocaine, crystal meth, and ketamine. Quote, you may be new to snorting drugs, or have snorted drugs for many years. Either way, this resource is something for you. This is like it was written by Monty Python if Monty Python were sadists. Uh, quote, have condoms and lube with you. You may want to have sex while high. One of the tips reads... Yeah, if you feel like you're going mad uh, watching this, it's not you, it's just the world. Now, all of this came to light when Aaron Gunn posted this. When I was in high school, we heard from powerful guest speakers on why doing hard drugs had very serious and potentially deadly consequences. And then he's showing pictures of this kit, and it's just completely insane, isn't it? And yeah, instead of normalizing this, trying to make it just seem like it's, oh, this is just something that high school kids do, Maybe warn them about how very, very dangerous it is, especially these days, especially with fentanyl. This is madness, people. Honestly, everybody made fun of the, you know, just say no in the in Nancy Reagan in the 80s. That's way better than this. I would far rather have ex-addicts going into schools and scaring the hell out of the students than, uh, than giving them safer snorting kits. I mean, what's next? My little meth lab? I mean, do they have a Breaking Bad module in Home Ec? Uh, the Cowichan Valley School District confirmed the authenticity of the images and said that the district is investigating the incident. Officials said the kits were not part of a district policy, blaming their distribution to minors on a third party. Yeah, I don't think that this was, at least yet, 
like part of the official curriculum for the schools. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if it is next year, but just the fact that somebody, a teacher, somebody felt comfortable bringing in this person to distribute these materials, it tells you something about the atmosphere, something about how these schools are being run, because it never should have gotten close to a classroom. But get this, of course, you knew that uh, the federal government was going to be connected somehow. According to the Vancouver Sun, the safer snorting booklets are manufactured by government-funded groups such as the Public Health Agency of Canada and the Ontario Ministry of Health. Now, while this isn't supposed to happen in uh, Canadian public schools, these things are being distributed freely through universities, colleges, because I guess higher education is the last place you'd expect to see anything common sense these days. And of course, this comes shortly after the BC government announced that possession of small amounts of illicit substances would be decriminalized. We're talking there about heroin, crack, meth, uh, in an attempt to remove the criminal element from drug use so as to shift to a healthcare-based approach. So yeah, you've seen the graph. You've seen this hasn't worked. What was their solution? Further left. That'll fix it. And guess what? Real communism's never been tried either. Because don't forget, the underpinning of all these ideas, all these radical ideas is Marxism. Even if the people pushing it don't realize it. And I'm going to say something controversial. I'm going to say, maybe we should go back a couple of decades to the thing that killed 10 times less people instead of continuing to do or expanding upon the thing that kills 10 times as many people, maybe we should just go back, admit that didn't work, let's go back and then reassess from there. I'm not saying do exactly the same thing forever, I'm saying reassess, but not do the thing that we know is terrible. I know, very controversial, right? Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.